There is only one indigenous broadcaster championing the cause for the restoration of Biafra. Biafra Human Rights Radio. Of course, unstoppable and remains the beacon of truth. It has been so since yesterday and it is today and forever. There is only one indigenous broadcaster championing the cause for the restoration of Biafra. Biafra Human Rights Radio. Of course, unstoppable and remains the beacon of truth. It has been so since yesterday. And it is today and forever. Yes, sir, once again, fellow Biafra lovers of freedom, men and women of goodwill, conscious of people, wherever you are all over the world, I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. As always, this is Radio Biafra Extra, and we are streaming live through Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station. Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station is being anchored by Diokpa Uchi Uka for Mefo. Diokpa Uchi Uka for Mefo, he is from Abatete. Abatete is in Anambra State. And Anambra State is Biafra land. 
He is the man who has simply assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. We came on time. We saw noble men and women who put their life on the line, risk everything they hold dear to themselves, they even dear life itself. They all has message to pass. They all has issues to address. They all have what it takes to influence this struggle positively one way or the other. But Mazim and Ford said, I will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. And that is because the corruption is the embodiment of anything that comes in contact with Nigeria. But you will not understand anyway. It's just a matter of time. I am George Unibi and I come from Abo. Abo is in Anyoma province. Anyoma province is in Delta State. And I repeat, every piece of land in South, South and Southeast. Iduma, Agatu, Iyala, Olembecho, all of you in Benue State, you are Biafra. And of course, you go to Ugeb, you go to Tinapa, you go to Wuburwa, all of you, Uguja, you are Biafran. And of course, you go to Uguni, you go to Andone, you go to Abua, Adua, Ahuda, you are Biafrans. And of course, you move to Utweki, Epi, Patani, Ndiama, Yenugwa, all of you, you are Biafra. And of course, in Edo, you go to Ibake, Iboto, Ubojobo, Naifo, Ewohimi, all the rest of them, you know yourself, all of you, you are Biafran. Am I going to have to remind those of you from Umbituru, Mbanombi, Siamando, Bankuri, Olo? Do I have to go to Mbose, Hiala, Oka, Onicha, Obaru? Do I have to go to Izi? Abakiliki, Iku. Should I go to Niki? Should I go to Uligus? Where exactly in Enugu do you want me to go to? You are dear friends. Should we go to Aruchuku? Omwahia? Where exactly you are dear friends? We already know the truth. It does not matter how the narrative is being changed. We know the truth already. And every component member that make up this Biafran state must use white hanky and clean your eye very well. Because the life we know is gradually changing. And a lot of things will be destroyed if we do not rise up to our responsibility on time and of course i must acknowledge members of the de facto customary government this is the embodiment of numerous pro biafran group against all odds they want the best the, the most of them are very neutral but we all have our stand some believe in devolution of power some believe in a constitutional review some are talking about constitutional amendment some want nigerian to be dissolved and there's so many agendas but the point is that it is evidence that nobody is happy with nigeria in fact the conscience of the fulani and the awosa is pricking them already but you know as life always go dog eat dog animal live by the instincts that you have to kill another in order for you to survive so they got to do what they got to do to eat us so they can remain alive and then it is better or it is left for us to decide whether we be eating or we have to fight to be alive and so I acknowledge all pro biafran group who are working one way or the other jamie men and women those who sympathize with us those of you who walk in the dark to serve the light you are highly appreciated but then i go to indigenous people of Onandekano, and of course before the end of today china sanguri is going to threaten all of you 
is going to tell you how he's going to give you Biafra. Eluhua has not said anything again. Indigenous people of Onandekano, the platform is open. Come and insult your father. Come and insult your mother. That is the only achievement of Onandekano. In Weiji, in Wanofia, in Wanompama, in Wonyara, in Wosabu. Sabo don't ring bell anymore. These are our brothers. We all came together to protect our people. We all came together to change the lot of our people. We all came together to push very hard that the world might understand that our state, our situation, condition in Nigeria is unbearable and cannot be taken any longer. Look at what they have become. But you see, they are still struggling. They are still fighting very hard. They want to prove point. They want you to believe that that which is was never to be or must to be. But whatever the case may be. <laughs> I wish we begin to retrace our step by now. Indigenous people of Funanekano, come and sort. No more sabotage now. You people are the one now expelling yourself. And and why was uh, Madame Oibo fake fake name? Why was she as uh, uh, suspended, relieved of her duty? You should have you should have fired her. See now the kind of smelling mouth. Tessie, I expel you. If I hear you talk out of chicken again, I expel you. Turn that fire all over now. You have confession to make. So why do you have to relieve her of her duty? Make she no whole money again. Judas is carrot. What do you have to offer indigenous people of Nandekano? What exactly? You keep using people. You use them and you dump them. Not the canon group of company. You use people who are not related to not the canon family. You use them and you dump them. How long do you think you are going to do this? And so the Nigeria, the Fulani, Janja, we, the, the Awosa, the Yoruba, and everything we have said to them about them. Now, it looks like they are better than all of us. But I know it's not true. So indigenous people of not the canon, the platform is yours. You are welcome. But then, there is a God that sits in heaven who presides over the affair of mine. He is the power that shapes my way. For in the end, I do not have the power of my own. Where he lead, I will follow. What he command, I will do. For in the end, Odi onye yiri chine ki nki ni gwe o Unwe runya geji maya tu so u ya yiri ya o Chimo odi onye yiri ki o Ezele o odi onye yiri ki o Iman odi onye yiri chine ki nki ni gwe o Unweru nyageji mayatu so ya yiri ya u chine ke u onye ne me ma u kabu nyagi enu nihi na hagi denso chine ke u apata ne kungwa. Kai bunya hagi enu nihi na hagi denso ise 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 and of course without wasting much of our time we'll go ahead to look at our topic this evening which is simply I beg your pardon which is simply titled security challenge in anambra state and the need for the people of biafra to be careful with their life the security challenge in anambra state and the need for our people those in anambra most especially to be careful with their life 
Shina Sangoru would have dashed out money to some of you. ESM money, unknown gunmen money. They will move some airborne youth to go down to Anambra. They will mobilize some Enugu youth. Of course, they don't have job. They are living in the bush for more than eight months now. They will mobilize them to Anambra. And then they are going to Imo State, Akiroruiki. They will mobilize the youth. They are going to Anambra. And then some, you know, most people from Abia. 50% of Abia people know the truth. And they cannot sabotage this struggle. They cannot obey none. They cannot. That is the amazing thing. Abia people have sense very well. They will not support them and they can forget about those things they are doing in Ali Ali and uh, they are sitting at home. The Abia people I know, over seventy percent of them will not give a shit to none the deception. But what I don't understand is that Anambra people, some some people from another state will come to your state and see no election. somebody. HM na rondi anambra na sompari. Huh? HM na rondi anambra na sompari. Is that not an insult already? More than 70% of Abia people will not subscribe to Nandekano deception. And then so, some people in Imo State, they are mobilizing their people. Those of you who are about to die, now they cannot salute you. Go to Anambra. Go, go, no, go and die. We cannot change the narrative. It is too late. We must do the right thing. And so all of you, you are hanging in the bush already. You've been able to calculate how many local government we have in Anambra. And of course, you know the number of the polling station. You will send there to go and die. And this is not what we want. It was the indiscriminate killing of the people of Biafra that fuels us in the first place to come out and say, this, is, this has to stop. And then how can we become the instrument of our undoing in a time like this? One of the things that gives me confidence, one of the things that gladdens my heart, it is our values, which is almost being bastardized, completely bastardized by Nandekano and indigenous people of Nandekano. I was having a discussion with my, one of my friends today, and he said, but I don't know what our land is turning into. I remember in those days as a child, when we are playing rough play, our parents will say, be careful, don't wound yourself, please be careful. He said, if peradventure, in the process of that rough play, you injure your brother or somebody got injured and blood flows out, most parents will start crying. Some mother will start crying. I told you, you cannot kill me, my son. Look at your blood. This is how unloving it used to be. And then the father will say, it's okay. Don't worry, let me see. They rush to the nearest clinic or a nearby where they can get attention. This is how beautiful it used to be. Today, look at you. And you want me to have regard for you. You are not going, hey, they have killed somebody. Hey, they, they are sent to heaven. Hey, we will kill you, we will shoot you. Una no get sense. If spilling the blood of my brother is what fuels my anger, is what makes me who I am, then I'm not supposed to be alive. The same Biafra, Amando, that call human being beauty of life. The same Biafra now is becoming worse with the Damboko Haram full of hate men. But the real Biafra Haram has not come. Oh, that is one thing all of you will count for. That thing you are looking for, you will get it at the right time.
will value life. Will value life. Look at Biafra. Some people mark dates waiting for December. In the late 80s and early 90s, anything from November 30th into February 1st, you will see hold up from Shagamu to Onicha Head Bridge. Everywhere completely jam pack. Everybody want to come home. But with the situation of the, all of you doing in Nandekano Taut, all of you, indigenous people of Nandekano, you all of you answer fake name. You can't even call home. Security challenge. Nenayanya eh? is not her name. Madam Oyibo is not her name. Chike Dozium is not her name. China Sangoru is not her name. Nandekano is not her name. Imam Powerful is not her name. Rabbi Chas is not her name. Oko Siwu Fori is not her name. Akeroru Eke. All of them fake, fake name. We came with our original name. We came as we are. You betrayed all of us. Mewo Nyama Wa Johnny Mwonyi Be Nwa Mwa Bwa Go. George Onyi Be. You, you are afraid you want to cause chaos and you are hiding when the time come all of una but you go to eat your wa all of una we know all of una house when you people are fully yourself we are just watching you all of una we know your house already so when you are threatened we will kill you we are keeping record because by the time we will let their friends know what you people have been doing they will use their hand to tear all of you. Be creating enemies. Turn everybody to open enemy. Let us believe you'll be able to off this thing. Look at Nigeria that is supposed to be to be sick by now. Proper sick and and and, and begging us to leave them alone. We know the truth. Too. We know all these things. Oh tell Ali Lembudi. Oh tell Ali Lembudi. We are not in a hurry. We have security issues. When you are coming, your name is Michael Okinkwo. But in IPOB, you are China Sanguru. So Nigerian Embassy will be looking for China Sanguru. They won't see you. Moreover, you stop at Ghana or Bene Republic. We now use Kekana Pepper to come and transport you, mad people. And then you still come on mic and you talk rubbish. I keep telling all of you, if you want to upset the balance, all of you unknown gunmen, yes, and all of you, make a move. Let me see your shadow around me. This is how I told you, Nandekano. You want to blackmail me. You want to give me name. You want to destroy us. But you cannot. It's not in your position to do that. I will follow you to the end. Today now, most of you don't even know what is going on. Let us go back to our topic so I will not digress further. There are security challenges in Biafra land. The people of Biafra, whether you are known government, whether you are ESN, do not be careless with your life. A day will come, we will need you to defend Biafra in its last outpost. You die for nothing. What benefit is it? Do not be careless with your life. This is what I ask you. For your own good, somebody will have to protect your family. Econsor family now has been left vulnerable. Biggie family now is suffering. Basil Akwara family now, maybe the daughter will have to enter prostitution to feed. When he has a father misplaced by the canal, and all of you are keeping quiet. Where is Dragon? Where is Biggie? And where is their family? All of you were here when I was arrested by DSS. How many of you take care of my family? Shame. People who even took care of my family in my absence. We are not even registered IPOB member but sympathizer. So who is deceiving who? 
do not be careless with your life your children need you your grandmother your grandfather your mother they need you if your life is not useful to you valuable to you don't throw it away some people still love you and so all of you are hanging in anambra we did it before now in Anambra, the same IPOB member who are supposed to protect us, take care of our feeding and accommodation, they poison us. They poison me and Chimobi Okafor. Chimobi did not survive it. So well, what are you going to tell me? And at the end of all the suffering, what, what did we get? Our elders and grandmother having told us we have to that our condition and our target have been sealed and delivered and documented and we have now decided to lift the boycott election now as a mugu you are you are still following the same process who even vote don't be careless with your life the condition of Una and the canon now he went to kenya rented a, 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 a very luxurious apartment where he was going to see the delivered and document now what i don't pass gary don't worry we will tell the story at the right time for the past 16 years or more the story of insecurity in nigeria has taken a new turn and if anybody thinks that in the nearest future the issue can be handled then you have to think again since buhari entered the issue of insecurity if we sit in the morning and listen to radio the number of people that are being slaughtered on daily basis is amazing when nigerian media platform are giving uh, uh, details of what has ha happened Yes, uh, this uh, week, uh, 6,000 uh, uh, villagers were run down by Boko Haram. Uh, how do you see it, my people? Then our people will now say, well, we thank God it's only 6,000. Let God take their spirit and let them have mercy. Mad people. And then another channel will tell you as you are speaking, you go to Modakeke as you are speaking, Fulani headsmen kill only 3,000. And then Yoruba will say, oh, Thank God, if not for the South that Omotekun did their job, OPC they did their job, they would have killed us. Thank God, it's only sustained. We will beef security. And then you come to Biafra land. Unknown gunmen rape students. Unknown gunmen kill politicians. One barrister was killed by unknown gunmen. All of them, Nigerian army, Rasake village. All of them, 70,000 have died in all. And then we go back and say, thank God though, no, none of my family did it. You think if Madame Oyibo family member had been killed by unknown gunmen, she would be sponsoring it. Now the canon stage manage all of us and fool all of us. Most of you have not even wake up from your stupidity up till now. When she was planning the platform to cause the hulo balo going on in IPUB, he told you, oh, only one woman, only one woman in America, only one woman. She gave us one hundred million dollar, Madam Oyibo, Madam Oyibo. Lo and behold, Madam Oyibo is our tax collector, mad people. if you think this security challenge is going any is going to end so soon think again you see there is something about us unique about us as a people if i start selling pure water and i start making profit every biafra will start selling pure water when you start doing kidnapping and you start making profit everybody will turn to kidnapper unknown government is is paying off Nigerian police are benefiting, Nigerian army, Nigerian DSS, Nigerian pastor, IPONC, power brokers, politicians, all of them have their own unknown government. 
all of them how many students have been kidnapped so if you think it's ending soon you are joking as china sanguru once they hear no government have strike they now begin to make up no na department no na group no na duam why what i don't pass gary unknown government has a so who is going to protect you who is really fighting to defend you who is the really unknown government this is because of the complex nature of insecurity in nigeria which is being projected by different stakeholders like i have told you already we have different owner of or, 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 or unknown government now the can escalated the whole issue he brought war to his doorstep rat ran into his house instead of him to look for the rat and kill the rat he has to set the house on fire in order to kill the rat and then burn the whole house now you have issue you cannot control but it's just as simple as our people must not be careless with their life tonight i want us to spend more of our time reconsidering the press communique issued by anambra state police commissioner and maybe our people will begin to have a rethink about trying to turn our region into a theater of war now before i will go ahead and play the audio let me tell you something the de facto customary government led by alaji asare dokubo through the information and communication officer masu chuka for me for issued a press communique reminding our people that we are not in support of election boycott but this is not because we want to challenge anybody we want to prove we are something that we are not and this is because it, it, it's it's obvious the truth is glaring and so if all of us in our right senses we cannot afford to go and vote you to vote for what but then we are not tyrant there are those who love voting i have a lot of brothers who are philosophers a lot of them who read political science they are die-hard politicians when udraga was having issue in delta state it was one of my younger brother that acted as a governor of Delta State. My younger brother. He didn't betray Udaga because it's not in our culture. We don't betray our own. We are not better than anybody, but we don't betray our own. Here, So, so what, what am I saying? There are a lot of our people that are diehard politicians. Must we allow our own right to encroach in their own right? And then we become worse than the people we condemn. Now what do we do? You create a fair, a, 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 a fair leveling ground for all to operate. We encourage the people of biafra do not participate in any election because these are the advantage of not participating oh we encourage the people of biafra participate in the election because these are the disadvantage vice versa and the people have a choice to make and then you put your energy to looking for solution but adventure things did not work out as planned we must be able, very ready to improvise when necessary. For the good of everybody. But those who did the right thing and those who do the wrong thing. But somebody is authoritatively trying to control us. You got to keep this and telling you. Eh, as I'm talking to you, when it did not work, we will not shut down the whole Biafra land. 
Now they turn that the gym they wait for all of them. The time for IPOB to shut down Biafra land is over. You can shut your community. All of you even yapen. Your your village, there is no single IPOB. If I provoke our people now, if I provoke our people to call on this line, it will shock you. You think they are not there. And your my people, if I provoke them, it will shock you. We are not here to talk or can boost story. Wasting our energy or already unnecessarily for what is not making sense because now they kind of want to make point. We are not against election boycott, but we are trying to learn from past mistakes. We are trying to watch evil men who want to mortgage the next generation. And like I said, we have to go to review the, 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 the press communique that is issued by uh, uh, Anambra Police Commissioner, if I'm not uh, mistaken, so that we can be able to learn from there. Because most of our people don't understand what is going on. Let us see. Long before the election day, Every town and village in Anambra State will be saturated by police officers, the military, and members of other sister security agencies that are working in synergy with the Nigeria Police Force. Together, we shall provide watertight security to ensure that there is a conducive environment for the good people of Anambra State to exercise their franchise. Anambra State Command originally had roughly 5,000 personnel. The Inspector General of Police, who is the overall commander of police operations for this election, has also ordered deployment of additional 35,000 personnel comprising both conventional policemen who will man the polling booths as well as tactical units like the police mobile force, the police special forces, men of the uh, force CID, investigators, as well as dog units, and force animal branch, and many other assets. The air wing will be here with three helicopters. The IG has ordered deployment of 26 armored personnel carriers. They are supplementing our transport pool by over 200 Hilux vehicles. So logistics will not be a challenge. Capacity will not be a challenge. Firepower will be overwhelming against insurgents. And we will put all these assets to work to protect the electorate, to ensure that... Now, now, listen very closely. When American fought Vietnam, do they deploy such capacity? That is why Nigeria is doomed already. And this is supposed to be a, a educated somebody who, who want to do election. We are capacity ready. We are bullet ready. We are armored car ready. We have a transport allowance ready. We are everything ready to do election. And you cannot ask yourself question. Even Adolf Hitler, when he caused the First World War, did he have such equipment at military software at his disposal? People are not ashamed. We, are, we, are, we have uh, 1 million people coming to do election in Anambra. Yes, we, are, we have 20 million people. If not, the canal head never come out for, for, for alignment. I, I, I will know how many of them you will deploy in Biafra land. I will know. And so when you finish making the announcement, hey, we are, we are afraid, though. we are panicking. That is what, that is what you think. We are capacity ready. Our our bullet is overwhelming. Firepower overwhelming. God will. Some of you, is it purgatory they call it? God will judge all of you. Already, they have started sharing more until two thousand. 
to give our children to food. I will try and replay that audio and see what your security apparatus, agent, and see what they are telling you. Yes, because of this Anambra election, we are now insurgents. What a shame. All of you should be mourning. You should be mourning. We are capacity ready. We are Ubunigwe ready. We are... This man sounded like a Nandekano. We will kill you. We will kill the key. What do you people want? Do the right thing. It becomes a problem to all of you. And you think unknown government are going to write soundboard on their neck and say unknown government. You will kill innocent people. That is why tonight I am taking time to tell the people in Anambra, the Biafrans who will travel across those areas, do not be careless with your life. We're trying to manage collateral damage. We're trying to minimize numbers of casualty, victim of circumstance. Did, did you listen to it? Let's listen to it before we, uh, we, 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 we analyze them. Long before the election day, Long every the town election and day. village in Anambra State will be saturated by police officers. They will be saturated by police officer, Boko Haram officer, army officer, DSS officer, masquerade officer. Joshin and the armor officer. And don't forget, ESM is there. Unknown government is there. Uh, volunteers are there. All criminals, thout, all of them are there. Inside one Anambra, and they are not ashamed. The military and members of other sister security agencies that are working in synergy with the Nigeria Police Force. Together, we shall provide watertight security. They just, to, just listen to that English water type security we're coming to reanalyze it this is your country this is supposedly the country we are supposed to fight to defend look at what they are doing what did you people do that led us here now the canoe miscalculated he shot himself on the feet if not eh, if not eh, and that is why every day we cry every day we weep how which our people will understand what is necessary and do the needful. Ensure that there is a conducive environment for the good people of Anambra State to exercise their franchise. Anambra State Command originally had roughly 5,000 personnel. The Inspector General of Police, who is the overall commander of police operations for this election has also ordered deployment of additional 35,000 personnel comprising both conventional policemen who will man the polling booths as well as tactical units like the police mobile force, the police special forces, men of the uh, force CID, investigators, as well as dog units and force animal branch even in election dog unit what of tiger unit and lion unit huh? unknown government unit the message is simple those of you in anambra innocent men and women do not be careless with your life animal unit tiger unit monkey unit because you want to do election. And many other assets. The air wing will be here with three helicopters. The IG has ordered deployment of 26 armored personnel carriers. They are supplementing our transport pool by over 200 Hilux vehicles. So logistics will not be a challenge. Capacity will not be a challenge. Fire Firepower power will, will be from women. Insurgents. And we will put all these assets what, what, what to work. Shame. What a shame. You can hear him. But then let us review one or two things. 
if we have to analyze this audio it is obvious that the nigerian security understand what is playing out in the guise of insecurity they know but they may not be willing to do what is necessary except when it it's it, it's meant to favor them let, let us look at one or two things there security will be deployed in every community in anambra to do what why will security be deployed these are rhetorical questions they are deploying security to kill a punk member they will deploy security to kill unknown gunmen they will deploy security to harass intimidate all of you into submission they will deploy security to rig the election they will deploy security to ensure that they are absolutely in charge of every manipulation that will happen in anambra on that day and so the stage is open any politician and you by all of you go and settle the police so that the water tight security overwhelming bullet all of them will work in your favor because the dial is cast already you just consider it security should be deployed why have they not this deployed this security to the northeast they have all this ammunition to do election and you're telling me with the level of students being kidnapped with the level of civilians being kidnapped with the level of people being destroyed by insurgency all the menace we never had overwhelming firepower of nigeria until election of anambra <laughs> my brother do not be careless with that we know the game we know the game already the reason for providing this watertight security is for them to do business to mortgage the future of the people for another eight years all oh, this water type security security in the spiritual security in the physical we have power ready a uh, 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 ready all this thing is to create a platform to mortgage you sell us for eight years nothing more this man who is making this broadcast now this issuing this press communique go and watch him he has assigned his voice to snatch by lost people power must to change over hand on that day and so ordinarily if we have come out and say well as far as we are still in nigeria the pro biafran group will will work as INEC officials we will be there to make sure no rigging We decide to join them on that pool and video all of them and of course they will not want it but if we have such facilities on ground those who are glamouring for getting involved in politics you'll be able to see that you have structures in place that will discourage rigging that time this man now telling you we have deployed army they won't deploy anybody again so they leave us vulnerable so we cannot protect our vote but here they, they tell you about a uh, uh, franchise whereas everything about them disenfranchises considering his audio and then you ask why are there security apparatus these security agents why did they not send them to Boko haram if such weapon will be deployed to conduct election you can begin to imagine what their intentions are when it comes to the issue of exterminating of our people but you have all this weapon to do election now get it in your mind when it comes to extermination of our people when they come down for the regenocide you can imagine what they do 
this very statement reminded me what the Nigerian military were doing in Unilag, 1967. They built kiosks, a majority of the university in the West, University of Lagos, University of Ibado, among others. The Nigerian military, led by Gowan, built kiosks. They were paying students, unemployed youth. They were paying volunteers five five pounds. Each of them were paying, being paid five five pounds every month. I have a video clip where they were addressing students in Unilag, to be precise. They say we need a, a student who will go to Cross River State. That was the location of that uh, uh, recruit. And then somebody asks, uh, what is it there for us? They say you will be paid 5,000 every month, 5,000 pounds. Don't worry about cigarettes. And of course, that is inclusive of India, Hem, Ibu. You say, don't worry about bullets. We have excess of it. And then you say, woman, <laughs> that one, Jabrata. All we just need is sign that you are going. It was like Niger bet to them. And most people don't know that they are coming to kill our people. Inside one Nigeria. The same language of a women fire arm, fire power, was the same language that man used. And who knows if this man was the recruit officer in University of Lagos? I punk are jumping up and down. Let's know how many people that will die. Because you lead our people in harm's way. It's unfortunate. In conclusion tonight, honestly, for those of you who will come out to exercise your right must understand the need to be very careful with your life that is just my message tonight don't forget that whatever whether you vote or you don't vote governor will emerge in anambra if you like vote if you don't like no vote if you like shit at home if you like a snatch bus if you like anything you like do governor will still emerge do not forget that now the canon sit at home will not bring the afra closer to us anyway they are fighting to be godfather in the afra land nothing more but whatever the case may be let it be on clear record there is no jagaban in the afra land the era of godfatherism is ending already conscience will lead us now truth fairness and justice will lead the next generation and of course at this moment our lives are open and if you are able to connect with the studio line do call in and then send message to your people those of them in Anambra encourage them they must not be careless with their life. Our direct line is 081-221-52971. 081-221-52971 is our direct number. Do well to make sure you, 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 you call in and make your own contribution. And of course, our WhatsApp line is... Zero seven zero eight one five four five six four two zero seven zero eight one five four five six four two is our WhatsApp line. I repeat again zero seven zero eight one five four five six four two is our WhatsApp line. 
and those of you on facebook you can see the number there and then you are free to call in and make your own contribution and of course we have a i have a, a caller on whatsapp already you are free to call in make your contribution if you have access to my social media platform please do well to call in anyone i am joined by one of us a uh, brother you just give me some minute there let me get this line connected yes can you hear me caller on the on the whatsapp can you hear me caller on whatsapp can you hear me yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Good evening from here. Ogaranya Ubi Adio Cha. Emanu Ogaranya Ubi Adio Cha. Ogaranya Ubi Adio Cha. Ogaranya Ubi Adio Cha. Ndi Uwane Madu. Udo Dregane Wa Eko Siyadu. Udo. Go ahead please. Shukuna Nyebe. Ise. You see there is something I have been busy trying to find out to the meaning of Nigeria. And what I find out is uh, Nigeria is a British uh, company. That's why there is no foreign investors there. I was so, 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 so much ashamed that Nigeria don't have any factories. Nigeria don't have manufacturers companies. They only have just individual companies. So for over almost 60 years, we have been voting, having governors and president from military regime to democracy. And the, none of them were able to set up up to even 1,000 factories. And they are saying that their youth are lazy. Their youth are jobless. Why that they are the ones, the leaders are the most jobless human beings on this planet. Is you know every four four years we have to go to vote in a security level. All the whole ammunition they are using is imported is a, is a, is an is an importation. They don't produce anything, and they have forty type of mineral resources, but they cannot produce anything. All the people there they are very shameless human beings. They don't think like a human beings. If you are a, if you are a corner today, tomorrow you will, you will, you will become a civilian and you, you will be living on hunger. What do you left for your children in the next 20 years to come? If you are commissioner of police today, in the next 10 years to come, you are a normal civilian. What do you left for your children in the next 20 years to come? Nothing. Do you know that in the next 50 years to come, Nigeria can never even boast of 1,000 factories? Look at just common Catalonia here. Let me just put it like this. There are 46 million people. But these people have 31,723 manufacturers factories. Not factories. Manufacturers. And in Nigeria, they have only four factories. Since over 70 years, even since Nigeria have created, since 1914 to today, Nigeria can only boast of four factories. What a shame. In any, in every, in Denmark, Denmark is four, almost five million people. And they have 15,000 factories. Denmark, 1,000 factories, 15 million people. Two, thousand partners sustain 10 million people and nigeria is 250 million people and there is no factory no no manufacturers only pure waters then we tell you it's factory bakery then we tell you it's factory beer then we tell you it's factory and people are not working so what are they claiming there for the election what are they doing there is just for a while all of them we sit down and cry. When you, when I look at the Abu Islam yesterday, I saw him with his big stomach. You see that he's completely empty, both spiritually and physically. Nothing remains there. 
they have long course to support his four generations on bond because nothing is coming from there. It's just uh, British uh, management for what, managing their company, controlling their economy. It's just why all of them will expire. And the children of the most high, the son of the son, the son of the land, will take over whatever belongs to them. If it is a complete if you think that like all the whole people in the whole Biafran land, the entire Biafran land, what about the ones living in UK, Americans, Denmark, Spain, and other rest of the world? Well, how are they going to kill them? By vaccine or by what? You remember when I, I talked about politics, and someone challenged me from UK. Then think that they are wise, but I have challenged by being in outside for more than 20 years. Years. How many factories? You cannot set up any factory there when there is no justice. You cannot have a security there when there is no justice. The judiciary is dead. Once again, you see, don't think that people who are fighting for their rights are stupid. But we are just watching. The world are just keeping quiet because it's a British company. That's why they're keeping quiet. But all the whole things is just for a while. You know, every day is for a thief, but one day is for the owner. And when the owner take off, then we say, ah, please, uh, leave him, leave him. But he had been stealing for years. The other. God will keep on blessing you. Thank you. And we provide us what we take to sustain our generation on bond. That land belongs to us. Nobody can conquer us. It's just for a while. Exactly. Then we disappeared just for a while. Bless you all, man. Give it up. Thank you very much, my brother. And of course, our people must understand the truth is is obvious. Somebody a nameless, his name is Biafra Restoration. That is his Facebook name. It may be China Sanguru, it may be Chike Dozem, Tony Zurumike, or any other. It said your anger is against your people not nigeria who is my people nanda kano you are hallucinating we work close with nanda kano we know all these things were going to happen wise men enlightened and progressive minded individuals were guiding him we're directing him we were moving from stage to stage everybody was properly indoctrinated we did our induction for them very well. Go back and look at those, our youth. Biafra got talent at the rest of them. You see, the, the music they were making then, it, it's unusual. But now, what music are you making? Hey, we go kill you. Go, I, 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 I don't understand. My people cannot be my enemy and my anger cannot go to them it is nanda kano and i punk who initiated this platform for our people to be slaughtered in anambra and of course at this moment i'm joined by my daddy in the lord can you hear me sir mazi obidi yes i can hear you my reverend you're welcome sir Good evening, uh, the here. truth must be told. Thank you, my brother. The truth must be told, whether they like it or not. It must continue. The gift that God has given you, you are using it very well, sir. Don't even worry about comments because. I see a lot of the bingos are there. So, what are you going to respond to every bingo? Okay. <laughs> so, no, no. Sometimes there, so, some of know. some of them, I, 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 I kind of perceive oh. their ignorance. I just help them out. It's okay, okay. anyway. Uh, okay. What of the uh, what if that guy you said right <laughs> and uh, he's coming there to right i've told you a long time the Fulanis have learned the skills from and china and they have employed more of their people to take up our names
to come to every forum. If you are talking in favor of Nandega, you still see them. If you are talking against, you still see them. And they are there to incite confusion. It's okay. But um, the thing is that people are listening. The message is getting across them. I don't. I know you. You didn't quite know that uh, they have a signed sale and delivered again today at the expense of uh, brothers and sisters who have been, you know, deceived into giving their lives for the sake of their friend. I don't know if you see that communique that uh, now they are now resigning the uh, seat at home order. They are now knowing that they will let people vote. Uh, the people can come out. They, they are now realizing the economic hardship they are placing on people. And that was by uh, the uh, Emma Powerful. Apparently, they met in Oka. Uh, you saw yesterday when I was uh, talking about uh, Bishop Kuka. Because uh, Bishop Kuka and Abdul, Abdullahi Salam, or whatever they call him, uh, they came down to, to get, uh, I think they had a peace treaty yesterday. There was one idiot that called himself uh, uh, a journalist who was shouting, they are not coming for peace treaty. Peace treaty is happening right now in Aka, the rock on the other place. And um, I, I was just here shaking my head, and I said, peace treaty now, we are having the precursors of the problem. Abdul Salami coming down to Alhambra State, just for Alhambra State election, okay? That speaks volume. You guys are slaves. So you might as well continue to shout on your, um, the, what is it called, politics of voting. Okay, isn't it better? Isn't it better? Everybody lock their doors. Lock your doors. Let them do their thing. Why is all this drama? What is all this? Because the people in APC is telling you to vote for them. Meanwhile, they are all savages. The people in the PDP, they are telling you the same thing. PDP. And the actual PDP and the AP and um, what is it called? Abga has been responsible for the mess in Anambra State today. And they are out there shouting, and you bad this, and you bad that. Meanwhile, this party were in Anambra for all these years. They couldn't provide nothing. They couldn't do anything for the citizens. And they imported the Bishop Kuka. In a, to come and make peace for them. I didn't see any other um, any other bishop bishop or being at them. And Father Mbaka in his adoration ground. Nobody seen them, but these are the, <laughs> these are the the men of God in Alhambra State. Or wherever they are, you know, Biafra land. These are the men of God. If an awesome man has been imported to come and broker peace for you. And guess what uh, Bishop Kuka came to do? To warn IP <laughs> IPONGs, to warn them about talking or, or, or criticizing or talking bad about their uh, people. They should watch what they say. I don't honestly speak it to my brother. I don't blame anybody. If they can say something right in the face of the people who are hurting them, not coming on this platform to come and talk garbage. Okay, I don't blame anybody. What, what kind of, what do you expect people to do? The frustration that they have imposed on these people back home. It, it's enough for people to say anything. The kind of frustration. Now we have Bishop Kuka. Broke out in peace, telling you, oh, go and vote. We are here to make sure that after voting, nobody will react. No. Nah. My brother, this is shame. I am so disappointed. I am so disgusting. Uh, and we have one other, um, other pastor, uh, or reverend, they call him, who, who is now shouting. 
and creating more confusion. That one, I don't know his name is uh, Pascal, whatever. That was talking about um, uh, this is a war against the Catholic and the and the and Protestant. He was given the impression that uh, they they are now trying to impose uh, Anglican on them. <laughs> And I'm looking at this man who called himself a clergy. I said, whoa. So the war has even gotten to Anglican and uh, and, uh, and uh, Father, Anglican and Roman, uh, Roman Catholic. Okay? My brother, you know, the, the point is that whenever you're talking on these issues, you are thought is going from one corner to the other because there's nothing really to talk about. Are we going to start talking about the the watertight security uh, that they are bringing? Meanwhile, people are being kidnapped in the northeast and northwest. The other day, it was in Abuja. They kidnapped a professor in the school. Shegumi is threatening that... Uh, if they ever prescribe the bandits, uh, bandits, we now also know that uh, the issue why they are calling them bandits, they don't want to call them terrorists, is because of a nomenclature, according to Lai Mohammed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It, it, everything is so funny, but as, as bad as this, it's so funny. Because the people that are supposed to stand against these things are themselves confused. Who in his right mind? Who is in, in his right mind? Who in his right mind? We witness this military incursion in our land, and still talking about pre you know, election. Who amongst them in his right mind, if we have people in Alhambra State today? I think the best thing is to call off the election. Let them invade us. And then we'll know that's an invasion, because this is an invasion. If you go to Alhambra today, no, no, all motor access has been clamped down. And they are moving from one house to the other. You see them moving with high speed in, in, in marketplaces with their tankers and armored uh, tanks, armored vehicles, in the name of election. My brother, my heart, you know why I have grievances? Is that these boozers, we can defeat them. But we are so cowed to stupor, we are so docile that nobody resists again. Everybody is playing their games. I was listening, I was watching this interview you played about these idiots. They call themselves, according to them, they're in the high table. And they have this man, they call Frank and Bab on their side. You know, sometimes when I reason about these things, and I think that guy that is called Frank and Bab, he's a full animal. He's just owning that name. It's clear cut that there's no man in Igbo land. It's clear cut. Because you can't see these things and witnessing these things. And for whatever reason, you are dancing, still dancing to this tune. Remember, the 1966 coup, Aguin Ronsi was killed because of the northern grievances that their leader was killed. And they refused to take orders. What is the uh, name of this one? Yaradua refused to take orders from his seniors. And today, our uh, people are taking orders from these Indians, from these barbarians. They're taking orders. You are watching them, killing your people, permeating the land, besieging everywhere, doing all manner of things, and you are still taking orders from these people. 
you are still taking orders from these people. I don't know where we are heading with this. But again, it's one of those things. It appears that it will get better, but it has not gotten to the point where people will start reasoning and saying no to this nonsense. Otherwise, what else are we... The war is already in our land. By the way, didn't Obadiah say that? People are running. Students from Oko are running home. There's no vehicle to transport them. The roads are blocked. And I was looking at young girls there. I, I reason, a reflection of my daughter standing there. Helplessly. Nobody to help her. She doesn't have... Nobody knows what is going to happen happen to these young women and young men whom I saw today trying to catch a vehicle, perhaps back to their respective homes before they are murdered in their homes. And people are still going out. I saw the meeting. They said they have all these uh, 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 organizations that talk about freedom coming to ask questions. And they are shamelessly sitting down with these people to say what before them. My reverend, it, it hurts. It hurts so bad. And this is the reason I have continued to tell our people to make yourself available to the Biafra de facto government. Come out. Let us reorganize ourselves. We have seen this criminal. Again, after incitement, after threatening that he's going to cut off the full and head, that he's going to lead the war. I know some of you may have forgotten that the, uh, I don't know how long, how far are we in the 150 days of prayers, my reverend. It has ended, for it has ended for over two uh, weeks now. And uh, and God would have jumped down from heaven. Yes. So he, 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 he used it to stage manage their brain for 150 days. Okay. Okay. And then for 150 days, that has gone. And he told them before the 150 days is over they will see what is going to happen. And what happened is the, the, the given, the rendition. Of course, they appropriately uh, described what happened. They, he went and renditioned himself, especially to the hands of his slave masters. And people has been mutilated. People has been, is dead. Uh, his general, he console house and he console road and everything. Is still pending, and uh, people have been that people have been decimated, and today they are just realizing that they have to resign their see their home order. This evil God in heaven must see through to it. God in heaven, may you not allow this man to inhabit this earth, because she clearly said that the wicked shall not inherit this earth. It doesn't matter what they think they are doing right now. May you, may you not delay to showing that you are God alone. Dear friends, I encourage you to stand up, wake up from this nonsense, Wake up from your sleepiness. Stand upright. Come. Be truthful to one another. Let us humble ourselves before God. And as we do that, we must acknowledge that there are other people around us. There are people who are talking for freedom. It's not just beer friends. We know, just like the previous caller said, this is a British company. That's why everybody's like animals. They set up confusion. They give you guns to be killing yourself. Why are they tapping the resources? What else are you not seeing? What are you not seeing? The Eurobats are tied down in this mess. The uh, those are tied down in this, this mess. The Mabenwins are tied down in this mess. So many other people, even the houses, are tied down in this place. They have allowed this Fulanese the control of our, of our land. 
And of course, we know that Fulanese are nothing else than mar marauders. They're nothing else but killers. They don't understand what is development. And they have succeeded momentarily. If you're in the military or in the police, and you are listening to this broadcast, and you are from these areas that I have just mentioned, begin to re think about what you're doing. It's not about gun. It's not about gun. They give you all manner of gun to come and intimidate and kill your people. Check and reason how far. Even as much as those little money they give you, are you sustaining are you really living a life? It's high time to end this ludicrous. I'm also calling on the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliances. We must all work with all these people because they are looking for freedom as well. We saw how Obadiah was killed. We saw how many people have been killed in the Southwest. We saw how the poisons uh, Iwoho. Now with kidney failure. We see all, all these things. We must all come together and extricate ourselves from this hands of evil. My Reverend, I want to thank you so much for what you're doing. God will keep, preserve, and bless you for making yourself available. All hell, Biafra, and God bless the people of Biafra and all of us of freedom. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And of course, the truth is glaring. Our people must understand it is time. It is time to rewrite the wrong. It is time to know the truth. And when that is done, you see nobody will deceive anybody anymore. Uh, my caller on WhatsApp. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Are you hearing me? Hear loud and clear. Go oh. ahead, please. Okay, thank you. God bless you, man. You're working so hard, man. Blood the strength to continue to put more wisdom in you and put more peace please unite people i want to say something you know, a lot of nigerians our people they don't know what is going on they think they think that we are making election to vote somebody and somebody will win but what is going on in nigeria today is the final push for fulani to take over enugu and uh, anambra that is why you see they are applying all kind of pressure now because that is the if they take uh anambra state then uh, the east the east is almost finished and that is why they are pushing so hard and one important thing is this there's what they call jihad in in islam jihad means the politicians are fighting the same the boko haram are fighting to enslave the people, to enslave them, take power from them, and enslave them. So it's not like it's different from what Boko Haram is doing and what the politicians, the Fulani politicians are doing. It's the same goal. The, the, the judicial, Fulani have seized our army, seized our economy, seized all important posts now. So they are winning the game now. Our people need critical thinking. We have to make a team. We have to invite the middle belt as quickly as possible. Bring the euro bars. This is if they they, they win a number uh, a number of states, then if this finish, they'll have focus on the euro bars. So it's very very important to try to do all our best. May God bless you. Please preach peace. Try to unite the peace people. I, I, try to unite the people because the more we fight against ourselves. They are so happy about it. I understand. Thank you. May God bless you. Keep Thank on walking. You. Thank you, my brother. And of course, our people must understand. I, I, I try to make us see something that most of us are not considering. The word of God is for correction. The word of God is for rebuke. It is for reproof. It is for instruction. It boils down to one thing, that the men of God, the women of God, the children of God may be properly equipped. Equipped to do the work of the ministry. Equipped 
to serve people here on Biafra Nation Alliance. We give you the word to reprove you, to correct you, to insult you, to equip you. Because the real journey is about to begin. The last caller just made it very clear. All these are games. Our very life is being taken from us. And not everybody understands the game. Now, if in terms of talking about, people do not understand. For almost 10 years, we walk inside with the leader we choose to prove a point. And before our very present, he blackmailed everybody. And all the people he blackmailed, they are not even man enough to come out and see something. They are gentlemen. They are gentlemen. But all of us are not the same. You should understand that. And now this is me, George Unibi. And I have served more than anybody I know. Except those who are pioneers of this struggle. I have served. There are people who served as much as I have. But I have not saw it in my hand. And so I challenge any Biafran. Dead or alive. Before God or before devil. Tell me one wrong I did. But it's not about me. Understand that. Omi omi oise sabotoa, oise sabotoa. Obi di oise sabotoa, oise sabotoa. Mazi me foi oise sabotoa, oise sabotoa. And there are all of you need to in the sabo, in the sabo. Now we have answered the name. Kiki me. And ya zama gwe fanwona. Kiki me. Of course, I'm joined by one of our sister Ada Biafra. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening from here, Ada Biafra. Go ahead, please. Good evening, uh, Biafra Nation Alliance and Biafra de facto customary government. I greet everyone. I say, make it to watch good Kazama bless all of you. May you go Kazama bless you, though, uh, for all these things you are doing, all this teaching you are doing, for us to understand what is happening. Uh, when you were playing that um, press communique by the Nigeria agencies, um, army forces or whatever. I was even thinking, is this war or what? But that is what we have, we, we, we would have got, gone, we would have gone before this time. We don't have reached this time that these people will come to invade our land again. Is it not invading, invading the land that you see how, how many uh, ammunition, how many uh, whatever they say is tanking or what, what, all those things they count now. It's just a full-fledged war. They want to capture the heart of Hugo land. It will not happen. It will not happen. Even if they paid they are that big bingo in DSS, it will not happen. The, the one of the, the recruits that is in your, your Facebook life was telling you that you are dead. I said, okay, yes, you are dead alive, yes. You are dead alive talking. You are better than the one that is in DSS. The other one said the uh, Mazobidi don't have work in uh, in America. I said okay, good. But he is got in Nigerian DSS. You see, uh, this is version now. All the corner, all the every place now in Anambra they will know it. They will mark our land. If we do anything, back around, they will say, okay, that's it, that side, that side. They will come and destroy our people. Eh? This is what, not, not, that experiment, not the canal, that is not his name. Then I came, Kenneth, 
Oluchi Okukari was was busy conducting with Fiani. Was busy working with Nigeria to take over our land. But it will never work for him. They have done science that deliver the game. They have said that they are not doing uh, sit at home. Uh, that they are they are only saying that uh, they are um, that is yeah, exactly what uh, our daddy in the Lord said. They are, they are just useless their own people. This place, Southeast Maui, is just vulnerable. Nobody is coming in. No money. We are suffering here. No money. Nothing comes here. Nothing. Just small, small work that we are doing is what is circulating. Nothing. You are killing your own people. Don't, don't they see now? The vision don't come free. What will they do? When is the ES and uh, the government, the evangelism is going on? Eh? They will kill and kill and kill innocent people, Joy. That's what. That's, no, 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 they can rejoice, man. Let them go and tell him to rejoice that Ali will have been, been, been destroyed again. Let them go and tell him to rejoice very well. Tell him drink tea and pray and uh, 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 start dancing that he has caused uh, our land to, to be destroyed. It, 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 will not, it will not be well with them and those that are supporting him. I want to tell a number of people, just specifically come and vote and pray that God will give you the best governor that you ever desire. Let them go to their polling units wherever they, they, they want to vote. Let them go and vote. Peacefully and go their home. Chukwoki Kajama, who is living in heaven, will never allow the plan of an and the canon of destroying the heart of evil land. It will never ever happen. It will never, never, will this idiot, this wicked devil, demon, dragon flag, will ever succeed in destroying the Igbo land. I, I told the Igbo people today, I said, Igbo are not afraid of how can we become afraid of this demon? Demon. Demon. Incest. They are not what they call people, somebody that sleeps with their mother or their, their sister. Uh, uh, they call them incest. That is who he is. That idiot will never destroy you, land. His evil will follow his wherever he is and all the all of them that are supporting him in that evil. We are not afraid. We we are both strong. Evil are not afraid. That's why I said in my whole world, if I come again I will be an evil woman. If I if God will create me in what hundred times one. To come to the world, to this earth, I will continue to be the Nibo woman. We are not afraid. Why should somebody that we don't even know how their mother gave birth to them, that don't have any blood of Nibo, we start being afraid of nonsense. We start being afraid of. We develop it. We go to places where nothing is. We develop it. We are not afraid. We are not fearful people. We are not afraid of human beings. The only person we will fear is Chukwokika Diyama. 
as the only person we fear. We don't fear human beings. I don't know where these people went and got this term that got us to be fearing them. For what? For what? People don't be afraid of any human being. I told them, come out and do your business. Nobody will do anything if they are trying to beat them, beat them up. What kind of nonsense is this? Eh? We become afraid of one, one, one Baba, Baba in London, Baba, a hey, Baba. You go people who become afraid of a hey, Baba in London. Hmm? You start being afraid of a hey, Baba, a hey, Baba, a common Baba that don't have even shop is babbling with other people. Eh? You, you, you start being afraid of one man that is in, in America. A one woman, they are called Nelly, that is in America, do, do, doing nothing. All of them that are not becoming have climbed up, all of them, let them come as what if they, they have, have not found them. Eh? We we, we, we become afraid. Afraid of nonsense. Afraid of human beings. We can cross all shores in order to go and get what we want. Just become a freedom. of umu, 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 bingo, bingo. I never see more people to be like this. So. And I have told them, let everybody come out. Let everybody go their business. Let everybody go their way. If anybody try not to, we will beat that person. We are evil. We are not. We are not. Created to be afraid. We are created to be strong and strong and strong. The only person we fear is God. The Almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth. That's the only person we fear. I don't know when people started being afraid. Hey, 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 give us a, hey, give us a, who? Kill who? Nobody. They will not kill us. We will not allow our land be invaded by this evil because this this is their plan so that our land will be invaded everywhere there will know all the corners no secret for us again no way it will not happen it will not happen their plan has failed their plan has failed all the people that he was hiring and paying to go and do a non government if you like go and do it you will die only you will die no innocent person will die again. All of you will be dying. You and your family, if their family support you to go and do a non government, you, you and your family will die. Nobody again will die for you people. If you like, if you like, if you are ESN or whatever, if you like, run for your life. If you don't like, go there. Go and die. Nobody, no evil man again will die for all of you because we don't know where they they born you that are doing a non-government killing evil people we don't know where you are where you were born because evil doesn't kill blood is sacred in our land and you are killing your fellow evil and telling me that you are evil you are not an evil man you are not an evil woman if you are giant Everyone that have put their hand in the blood of Hebrew people, you will suffer pain because the God of Hebrews have arrived to fight our battle for us. Thank you, Doctor, for all this year. Thank you. Thank people you. People them will help us. They will not Thank you very much. Thank you very All their plans much. will fail them. Thank you. Thank you. A good night from here. And of course, the truth is very obvious. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. Do not be careless with your life. Tomorrow we will go on the, a more in-depth part on the reason why you must not be careless with your life. This is still 
Biafra Women Right and Freedom Radio Station. And of course, we represent the overall interests of the Biafran people. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, the caller on WhatsApp, you are calling back again. If you can hear me, please go ahead. Call on WhatsApp. Our mission is simple. To ensure that nobody sells the next generation of Biafra. And that is one thing we cannot allow. We we'll have a network issue on that line, so I will encourage you to disengage and try to call back. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. We know the game already. Biafra Women Rights and Freedom Radio Station. Looking out for the overall interests of the Biafran people. Those of you in Anambra, some part of Anambra, some part of uh, River State, and some part of Delta State. You can receive Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station on FM 100.5. We are on satellite. We are on simple radio. We are on app. And men and women out there are making deliberate efforts to make sure that we have our FM relay station up and running everywhere in Biafra land. You need the information. You need to be enlightened. You need, need to be informed and pre-informed. You need to be ready. Hey, we, we are sitting at home. Oh, there will be no election. Oh. Instead of election to come, everyone on earth will follow. What about today? You think we are full? It's in a mad Quite unfortunate anyway. Yes, a caller on WhatsApp. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I wanted to advise something. Uh, please uh, give people time because some people, they come, uh, maybe they finish what they wanted to say and then they get choked up and they keep on talking and they choke the line. And uh, uh, some people come with annoyance and they cause and cause and cause. Only lawyer na bo kana ha choke. That is correct. Only lawyer na bo kana ha choke. We have to unite our people. We have to focus. That we have to correct. focus. The danger is too high. Fulani are making using us to play football. How Fulani have win our politicians. We don't have politicians again in Ibo land. Fulani are in control of the whole politicians, control of uh, army, control of everything. It's a danger. We are in danger. People have to realize this. You this is Islamic point. Jihad. That is what is happening today. If we don't take that, they are going to win us and they are going to enslave us and they will force us to become Muslims. They will kill our boys and they will take our ladies. And that is what they do. It is simple. We have to understand this. And they should not allow intimidation because if they intimidate you, you're scared and then they get advantage over you. These people are dangerous people and they use that system to conquer the whole Africa. The Fulanese now, they have about four presidents in, in West Africa only. Four presidents in West Africa is Fulani. And if they, plus, if we don't take time, they are going to overrun us. You see what they are doing? All those ammo tanks they bought, they bought it not because of Boko Haram. They are not fighting Boko Haram. Jihad is called bandit. Terrorist group is called bandit in Nigeria. They pay them big, big money, give them good money, give them ammunition. And everybody is saying this thing and we still deny it. It's not fair. Our people have to look what is happening. These people are dangerous people. They are going to kill us. They are going to destroy us if we don't take time. This is not time to start fighting, infighting. Infighting will not bring any any benefit. We have not to fight infighting. Let's forget about, okay, maybe you are in IPOB or whatever, and then things did not go good for one reason or the other. That is a bygone. Now we have to focus on the bigger, bigger picture. It, there is no need for you to fight your brother. The full and just there 
just drinking their this thing and happy. They are penetrating to our land. It's, it's dangerous, man. I don't understand. May God bless you. Keep on walking. Work harder. Please unite the people, man. Thank you. Give people time. Two minutes, two minutes. Not too long. Thank you. Thank God you bless you. Very much. Thank you very much. And of course, the real agenda, the real issue is unattended to. Our people must get ready. Our people must stand for the truth. Our people must recongregate. The platform must be redefined. Believe me, it is not late. It is not too late. We can make this change happen. But I pray that IPONC, indigenous people of Unandakano, of course, if they are not Fulani, if they are not the ones selling us out, I pray they use their head. But Biafra Watchmen, those sandal with spiritual responsibility, we are not going anywhere. It's just a matter of time. You will understand we are not joking. And so, this having been said, whether see tattoo or no see tattoo, understand that the political gladiators will snatch ballot boss. Understand that those who sell future, who buy your future, will be there to buy for you. Understand that unknown gunmen not controlled by another colonel will also be there to shoot you. They will be there to do what they have to do. We make a simple request. The Fato Customary Government, the Afro Nation Alliance, we say do not be careless with your life. And of course at this moment I'm inching closer to the end of this program. I must appreciate all of you who took your time to call in and make your contributions. Starting from my brother Ogaranya Ubiya Diocha. These are people who saw the truth. For some reason they kept it to themselves. But they stand by the truth even up to this moment. I want to appreciate all of you. Ada Biafra, all of you. And of course, I'm joined by one of us, Kola on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Kola on WhatsApp. Hello, Dr. Can you hear you? Are you hearing me? Yes, you are coming out loud and clear. Welcome to the program. Good sir. Are you hearing me? Loud and clear, I can hear you. Okay, this is uh, oh. good evening, sir. This is Mazi on Kwanze from Anambra here. So I say good evening, good morning, and good afternoon to all their friends all over the world. No, from your own your own time location. This is update on Anambra as it concerns the preparation of Nigeria to conduct uh, election coming Saturday being the 6th. All over the police uh, barracks, police stations in Anambra today witness heavy presence of uh, police personnel including some women and men that I cannot even describe as these men, those ones, they came with a, a, some shattered boss or something like that. I don't know if maybe when the people of Anambra failed to vote, those people will now come and do the missing to make sure that the uh, election took place, no matter the way it may look like. So that is the situation for today. Just like um, the the present uh, a press interview concerning their preparation of the election, the promise that uh, uh, they will they will dominate every towns and villages of Anambra with their men gone ready, everything ready, logistics ready. So it's no longer news. 
uh, the side of the my my side of uh, coming calling tonight is to let our people know there are some of our brothers and the fathers that call early that we are talking about Nigeria <coughs> being a failed state, this and that. The problem we are having is not Nigeria. The problem we are having is ourselves. Because Nigeria has no focus. Nigeria has no destination. Nigeria has since 1960 to date are full of needs. And the full of needs does not talk about development. They don't talk about building industry, taking care of economy, electricity, and all the rest of them. That is not their business. Their business is Islamization. That Usman that follows ideology remains their ideology. Even if you remove Buhari, put the, the last one of Fulanis, that remains their target. So it's less for us who has the who were trapped into the cage of Nigeria, orchestrated by the British, because that is the only thing Britain can do to keep milking our resources without handing us over to the Fulani. There's no way they can be take, taking our resources up to today. So I'm calling off. I'm calling off on all. Nigerian ethnic nationality that does not believe in Islamic jihad, Islamization, and all of them to rise up and get ready. Today, all over the Biafran land, let me put it, the Igbo state, all, all our politicians today are the servant of the Fulanese. I had some days ago that Obiano has signed the uh, open grazing for the Fulanese. Why? He's working tirelessness to make sure that his party win the election. You no? Know? So, these are the issues we are having. Look at him or states. In that one there, you have no doubt, is working for the Fulanese, no matter what they said, he will do it that way. So I'm calling on all freedom fighters, all freedom lovers, all people who need good things in their life to rise up to the occasion. To you, to people fighting for the freedom of us. This is no longer the time of uh, making show. These are no longer the time of uh, trying to show that uh, you are the only person that can do it. The only thing that can give us freedom is our own unity. If we are not united, we, we, are, we go nowhere. Look at what is happening in the Ebola land today. If you tell so many people that this man going about deceiving you, telling you that Elohim send him, the other one send him, is not fighting for your freedom, they will stone you to death. But the truth of the matter is they are just playing their game of their pocket. On Saturday, let's see how election will not hold in Anambara. How can you order for election boycott in only one state? The, the, the 36 states in Nigeria, you order only one state not to have an election because you are looking for freedom. Will Anambra governor's seat give you the freedom? No. Will Anambra governor's seat do anything meaningfully to make you have your freedom? No. It's just that some people are doing business of their own. If you ask questions, they will mark you for elimination. We did it 2017. Little wonder do we know that the game is just for a game of pocket. And when they succeeded it, that is the final. 2019, everybody is aware of sign and seal. Maybe so many people have forgotten. 
ask question what was signed and sealed nobody is asking if you try to ask they will eliminate they, they will mark you for elimination that is the problem we are having it's not full and is full and is are playing their game they are they are going for their own forefathers uh, 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 um, legacy you know everything less for us who claim that we want freedom how can we be looking for freedom at the same time the things all the things we accuse our oppressors of is the same thing we are doing to ourselves now they can use to tell us that so many of us that work with him in IPOB is he has lost their life by him not even by the same people he called you so many of us is in the prison so many of us is now called Sabo and all the rest of them I don't know what somebody will gain in, in, in doing all this thing to his own people then claiming that you are fighting for their freedom it's not true so my own my own observation this evening and always any time I call is for unity of their friends, unity of all the indigenous nationalities of Nigeria. Because anything short of unity of indigenous population, population of Nigeria against the Fulani, you are messing up. Because they will use your neighbor to fight you. Look at what is going on today. They are using the so-called our leader, the so-called our supreme leader, to fight us. Because all of our members at the past that were arrested by Nigerian DSS was set up by the same person who says that we should follow him. That is the problem we are having, not Fulani's. Fulani are on their own business. Succeeding. So, uh, Acquiring land without payment, with force, even in Nebo land here. If you see them making mouth, small time, they make call, army will come. You being an indigenous will not be running. What are we talking about? All the time we are talking about Fulani. I don't blame them any longer. Because what they are doing is what their father asked them to be doing. What of we? that is looking for a way to break out of the, the contraction called Nigeria. We are the ones sabotaging ourselves. We are the ones calling each other Sabo. We are the ones setting our own self up. Someone who claims that he's leading you will come out and lie against you, tag you criminal, tag you kidnapper, Tell people that he had went to the politician to collect money, but he's the one doing the same thing. I pray, my prayer is that our people, the, the, let God open the eyes of our people so that they can see the mess this guy has led us into. As I'm speaking to you right now, if you come on the road and mess up now, they will shoot you to death and nothing will happen. Even even after shooting yourself, the next person nearest to you will just close his mouth and go away. Because if you talk, they will kill you. The the actions of unknown government and ESN is against our people. All the cars they have been robbing out of our people, killing them at the process of taking those cars from them is there. So many people have lost their homes. So many people has died just just one of my neighbor was complaining that this one that happened on friday at the uh, nobi junction his brother was uh, killed in the process just a bypasser bullet get him he died at at, at the spot at the same time the, uh, when the army come and the to to fight back all the victims is our own brother and sisters. All the property destroyed and everything is our own. This man in Nandekano told us initially that we are going to take the war to them. We cannot allow our own 
a place to be used as a battleground. Today, what is going on? Alibo is not the, the, the battleground. Not even the battleground for the freedom, just the battleground for their own business. They are busy walking around deceiving people. All of so many of these people you hear in abroad telling you, uh, don't come out to sit at home. They, they are doing business. I said it last time when I called. Look at Chike Dozem shamelessly coming on, on social media openly to talk about ESN account. What is ESN? What is the ESN account? Which law did they use to establish this ESN they are talking about? Which law is restricting the, the, the movement and actions of these people? What are they talking about? You come on social media, tell us that this person has been removed of his duty, that account is using to collect ESN money is closed. This is what are we talking about? Is it not a shameful thing to us? Other people that is fighting for their freedom, are you seeing them on a, on a social media coming out to, 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 to take care of their issues? You can't know who give them money. You can't know how they are managing to go on and what they are doing. Our own is that everything we must come on the social media to disgrace ourselves with, with the fake names they are using in, in abroad where they are living. You know? So what I'm talking about this evening, all the, all the uh, Biafran people that is ready to fight for this freedom, work for this freedom, come out of IPOB. IPOB is just a business of Iman Kano and his family and some other like him. Because if you are not a criminal, you cannot work with Iman Kano. If you are working with him, immediately he noticed that you are, you are a true, true human being. He will target you for elimination because you don't need people who are set forward by his side. Uh, forget about the posts he gives to people. Uh, the, the, the IPOB is being controlled by him and his brothers and sisters at the back. You can be given national coordinator, but any other fine boy gave to you, if you fail to carry it out, you'll be removed. But not, um, fine boy is not mentioned in any position or Kanonta is not mentioned in any position, no, but whatever position you are holding, if you fail to carry out their order, they will remove you. What does it mean? That is the situation we have, we have found ourselves because we are looking for freedom. This man came and used all his magic, lied to us. He went to Israel, Elohim, sending this and that to Godo, Godo, Godo. He wear kippah, he wear talidi. We talk that is true. We don't know that it's a 419, a blood-sucking demon in our mix, claiming to be leading us. What am I talking about? Let us come out of this guy. Join any pro fan group. Let it not be that I'm telling you to join my own. Look at, look at their program. Look at what they are doing. Look at how they are relating to others. If you join any group and those group telling you, uh, this, this one are trouble, this one are this, this one, forget about them. Because one group alone or one person alone cannot give us freedom. Any person fighting for freedom must be talking about unity first. We must unite. We must get, get to all the, 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 the ethnic nationalities of that made up, up of this Biafra we are talking about to come together and agree that they want to form a nation. A nation is, is even ordinary uh, autonomous community. You cannot get it just you come out and make noise, you get autonomous community. A nation is being formed by people coming together. Imagine if you and interviewed people like uh, 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 somebody from uh, 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 Niger Delta side, he will tell you that, forget about those people, I don't know what they are doing. Biafra is for Igbo. You know? But these are areas that are made up of this Biafra. 
we must bring these people on board. We must make them to understand what is going on, what we are doing, where we are landing, the way we will handle ourselves, how things will look like, so that they will now know the reason of them joining. Not somebody from somewhere talking blah, 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 blah on the radio. You must come on ground to meet people, talk to people that matters. Not coming on up work to recruit uh, doubt. Give them kai kai and the cigarette. They will start making noise for you all over the places. Hire recruits. Put them on the social media to be posting rubbish. So let us come together. There are so many groups. Masop is there. Beam is there. Jaffa National Alliance is there. Bringing everybody together. Now, we have achieved one thing. What is that thing? Forming a customary government for Biafra name. Biafra de facto customary government, headed by Asari Dokobo, that will supersede and oversee the activities of all the pro Biafra group. Who? Government. Because there is no way you can approach UN without forming a customary shadow government that can take care of affairs. In case during the transition period things will not get out of hand, just like what Nandekan is doing. If UN now come and say, "Okay, get ready, we want to give you freedom," we will kill ourselves even before the Freedom Day, because. Uh, <laughs> He will not allow anybody to, to, to come outside. Only him will stand. So that is the problem we are having. We are having the problem of ourselves, not the Fulanese. Fulanese are playing their game. I repeat myself, they are playing their game. They don't need your development. They don't need your economy. They don't need your industry. What they need is Islamization, jihad. And they establish it into the government. Look at the open grazing. Ask yourself, what is this grazing benefiting to the to the federal government or the, to the generality of Nigeria? Nothing. These are business of one tribe. Car will come and eat it off. If you talk, we'll be killed. If we are killed, government will not talk anything. It will not even announce. If if not social media, so many things that could have been happening, nobody knows about it. You know, these are their game. These are the only weapon they have at their disposal to to take over people's land and property. Why? These are the legacy of their forefather to Islamize, conquer. These are people who came from where they came from, came here in Nigeria, but now they are take over everywhere. Every government is them. Every important position is them. Every uh, force, be it police, be it army, be it uh, whatever you can talk about it, is them. Without them, nobody else can be there. They are, they are father, uh, 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 what do you call it, Sadhana, said it, that without them, nobody. If, if, even if it can lead to a bloodshed to make sure that they remain everywhere. But if you play those interviews to our people, they will tell you you are a pretty hate. But it's there. You know? So I'm begging on all of us that ready for this freedom. This freedom is the only thing, is the only legacy we can leave for our upcoming generation. If we fail to achieve this freedom for our children, their own is finished. That is the problem we have now. 
these people is not resting. They are not leaving any stone unturned. They don't care. They don't look at any purpose, any person's face. They are encroaching. They are coming. It's not, it's, it's not a prophecy. It's things that everybody can see everywhere. It's too open. So let us rise up and do the needs for. Our freedom is in our hand, not in the hand of anybody. Anytime we get up and get ready, put ourselves together, program ourselves, our freedom will come. But uh, if you will like, let us sit back and be waiting for one man who was sent by Eloha to give us freedom. That see that kingdom to see that freedom. Because the man and his cohort is not ready to talk about your freedom. They are not even they are not even in position to talk about your freedom in the first instance. No office in the world can even allow them to come to them and talk about your freedom. So this is my advice this evening. Job, I thank you and I pray that you could Kadama should do. Bless you and he has blessed you already. But he should bless you more and more give you long life and prosperity, bless your children, bless every person around you, and so that you can stay to get this Biafra for us and enjoy it with your children. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, my brother, Manze Ongukwe Nwanze. These are people who worked very hard, risk everything. They were set off by supreme mercy. But it's okay. We'll, we will get over it but the next platform that is being created there is no room for deception nobody will be allowed to say the next generation and of course uh, the the supposedly uh, uh, anambra sit at home and uh, rubbish we will explain it tomorrow it is knowing the truth that frees the mind and it is the freedom of the mind that gives the grace to stand up for the truth. And of course, I am joined by uh, one of us. And then, uh, of course, there is no other person than uh, Agunwani. These are people of truth. Can you hear me, Agunwani? Yes, sir, I can hear you, sir. You are welcome to the program. Good evening from here. Thank you, sir. Good evening from here. Uh, they say there's not much uh, gospel in evening class. All the people that I thought before, they have already said it all. But I will still chip in my own small contribution. It is very unfortunate when one listens or witnesses all the things that is going on in our land today, but those that it has not affected, either directly or indirectly, they may not know what we have been talking about. But for those that it has hap happened to, either by omission or commission, they will understand. But we don't know where we will continue to be talking. I greet all the men of calibers over there that have made it possible for us today to be expressing our feelings. Based on all what people have been saying and what we have been saying and what has been said tonight, I just want to just chip in in one, one check a little. If we trace back or we flash back, we will we remember when we talked about the qualities of a good leader. And within that qualities of a good leader, there are certain things that is expected of somebody that claims to be a leader. And today, if somebody have a problem, they, if you have a problem or you, have, you know a problem, then getting the solution will be easier. Tonight, I just want to talk about small something because there is a place that uh, the leadership of IPOB is coming from. There, there is a place they are coming from. They call it agitation. Yes, of course, it's agitation, but it's still politics because everything we are doing on this planet Earth bounce down on politics. Even in the church, there, there is politics. Even in the house, 
yes, apologies. So even in the uh, agitation, uh, self-determination pro project, there is politics in it. That's why those that are good in politics, the positive aspect, but there are positive and negative aspect of politics poli or politicking. So those that are in the positive aspect of politicking, there are the people that normally get it right. So I have observed and they have observed and they really researched and they looked into this man's kind of leadership. And I found out that it was done on what uh, the, 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 the diplomats or, or those that are in the political science call uh, Machiavellian's theory. Under Machiavellian's theory, this man believed that public and private morality had to be understood as two different things in order to rule well. You know what it means? Separating either it is public or, or private that morality should not be used interwovenly or interchangeably, meaning that it must be separated if you want to rule well. And this theory goes down to say that, that the same valid man believes that for a ruler, for a ruler, that it is better to be widely feared than to be greatly loved. A, a, a loved ruler retains, re, uh, retains in authority under rules by obligation, while a feared ruler or feared leader rules by what? By fear of punishment. Have you seen the two categories now? So he believes that for you to be a ruler, you must be widely feared instead of being loved. He prefers to be feared than to be loved. If you trace it back to where he has been coming from, APOB leadership prefer people fearing them. That's why they started the command and control system from the beginning. When they command you, even a child of a, 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 a year, so far is higher in hierarchy than you, he can command you and do rubbish of you. You will not have mouth to talk. This is the kind of a, a relationship where we find the wolves in sheep's clothing. And this man also really believes that when people put a ladder for you to climb, when you get at the peak of that uh, uh, mountain, you should break the ladder so that all those people that made you to climb there, all of them will fall down, all of them will be eliminated. Because if you allow those people to be there, one day one or two of them may climb and meet him at the, at the peak. And he believes that it's only those that we are able to build the ladder for you with which you climb will be the people that we know what they will use to bring you down. So the best thing is that when he gets he climbs that place, he should break that ladder so that all those people will fall. None of them will ever climb again to be to be there with him. He prefer mediocres to be around them, walking in mediocrity, so that anytime whatever he says, they will say we will do. Whatever he says, they will say yes, sir. Nobody is going to ask question or to challenge him for anything. Now, he said that the theory is still going. He said that this kind of person, in the person of Machiavellian, that it is defined as a person who follows ideas of uh, deceitfulness in the prince. What does that mean? First of all, they live a life of prince, like as I said before, wolves in sheep's clothing. They will live like a prince, so gentle, so uh, uh, tantalistic. When you see them, you think that you have seen a very gentle, young Prince, and they always acclaim praise to themselves. You can see how this one, that is not even um, from a royal family, but all of them have claimed the praise and the presence in their family, answering praise and princess, so that people will be regarding them as a royal family people. Then we acclaim that praise, living deceitfulness, deceitfulness in the praise. They are behaving as princes, a princess and prince, while inside them is full of deceit. It's full of deceit. 
you still go on to tell us that this kind of a people for example is a person who who will lie and cheat to get the throne if you look at all these things there's no difference from what they are doing he is ready to lie any manner of lie or to cheat any kind of cheating so far he climbs that ladder and be at the tip and start answering the screen message and get a, a clear excellency that he has a, a claimed to himself machiavellian having believed that a leader must or had to understand public and private uh, morality are two different things in order to rule well what does that suggest to him he said that a ruler must be concerned not only with reputation but also must be po 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 positively willing to act immorally at the right, right times have you seen it so he said that a ruler for you to rule well or to continue ruling you should not talk about repetition that's why he said that morality and um, morality either privately or, or publicly should be marked as two different things so you should not put morality in whatever thing you are doing as far as that leadership is concerned so he said that uh, 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 for you to rule well as a leader and you want to continue in that leadership that you your concern should not be for uh, with repetition but also it must be positively willing to act immorally at its right time what does that mean is it not what he is playing out now yes it's not he started with elohim say elohim say the chief of the kadama premier in a this and that and that and that uh biafra mando mando uh, we, we are known as a man we don't kill we don't do this we will not shot a gun a, 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 a shot a, a shot of gun before Jafra will be given to us all of a sudden gradually when he has climbed to the peak of the hotel he started deviating deviating just changing like a chameleon deceitfully scheming for his own personal interest now he said you can willingly do our art immoral things at the east right time this is his right time he has gathered all the money and locked it up in the bank where they locked it up now he knew that the best thing for him now is to hand himself over into the nigeria government as he stays inside the day they will be negotiating he has acted immorally otherwise what would have brought him to kenya he knew what he went there to do and if you go to the the, the, the his uh, transport uh, uh, um, receipt or something of that nature i may call it it may not be the place he feel in the form that he's going to that he landed himself he may tell you that he's going to ethiopia then he will land in uh, uh, kenya uh, the one that caught him in lagos is he lagos he told he he, he he was paid for to go to it was uh, uh, ukraine that he got, he landed in, in uh, lagos that will tell you the level of his deceitfulness he doesn't want anybody to know he, the real true color of him or the real, real true things that he is doing both in the public and in the private in, the, in his privacy and all those mediocres that surround him now is the people that really understood him and know the kind of thing that he's doing that's why none of them is answering their real name they understand understood him very well from a, 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 a crash so is this uh, from uh, uh, kindergarten age and that's why they followed him suit answering all manner of fake names they continued that way so if we look at, at him very well and know exactly whom he is and uh, the kind of person he is so if, when you talk about uh materialism in any way he's talking about this kind of theory is a concept of public discourse in the political history and is a term for a political philosophy of the italian resonance diplomat this uh, nicolio uh, uh, first uh, failure which his ideology 
Technology is often depicted as godless, scheming, and self-interested. If you look at these three features here, all of these attributes are found in the body of the leader of the RTUB. He is a scammer, he schemes people. There is no godliness in whatever he is doing now, rather godless. He started with Elohim, he ended up with the dragon. What connection has light and darkness? And he ended up in his own self-acclaimed leader and interest. Just like uh, uh, my brother said before, everything turned out now to be a family business. Like what, what he said, that if you argue with his brothers, you will be removed or his sisters. It happened in a boy state, for instance. Simply because they, they are not comfortable with the former state coordinator. Maybe they find out that that person is intelligent. That is somebody that you cannot remove control anyhow. The sister is the one that removed him and carried the name of the people using to orchestrate the evil as they are and give to the people of the boy state. And uh, that thing started uh, is the beginning of the downfall of that will be in the boy state. But they are still jumping up and down, taking that they still stand. So this night, my uh, my dear, I don't want to talk much. I just want to talk a little bit on the character. Because when you know the kind of character somebody is speaking, you will not know where he's coming from. Having known, if people at the beginning, it's not because of over, over trust we had on him. We even tried to love him without knowing that he wanted us to fear him. That's the mistake we made. If we had known that is the one that we needed here, uh, so that we would be doing this out of fear of punishment, we would have defined our stand before, but thank God it's not yet late. It's not yet over till when it is over. So now that we have really known who he is and the time of the type of principle he's using and the kind of leadership uh, scheme he is using or strategy, now it's left for us now to strategize and know the right method to use and follow him up and of which let him do all the negotiations and come out. Now they have noticed that people are already waiting for them for Saturday election. They oh, now run to go and dish a, a, a memo that uh, they have oh, passed the, the seat at the Indirectly long they are the trying to showcase that yes, they are the one taking care of him land. They don't know that their job has lost Time shall come, they will be very much shocked. The kind of little baby that will come up and tell them where they belong to and where they are going to sit. God bless you. I don't have much to say this night. I know our people have said much. Let God help us. As we are saying, let it be assimilating and let God give us the kind of spirit that will make us to continue standing by the truth. And showcasing the truth because it's only the truth to set us free. We don't know who we start as watchmen. We are watching and we are observing. Good Thank night from yes. Thank you very much, uh, Agumwani. And of course, this is where we draw the curtain for this evening segment. My appreciation to those of you who called in and uh, you made a positive contribution. Honestly. All of you are getting the message and I'm glad about that. That having been said, there is need for us to begin to look for way forward because it's not over until it's all over. Call on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good evening. Uh, uh, Obidike, you're welcome to the program this evening. Go ahead, please. Uh, Dear friends you. are listening. I thank you, sir, for this evening, your great teaching, and uh, to enlighten our people, and uh, to tell them there is a hope uh, for a living uh, than a dead lion. So I think uh, uh, the point, uh, the Biafra we see ourselves now could call us like uh, living dogs, uh, but uh, all hope is not lost. And why I say all hope is not lost uh, is because human beings are still living in different land and uh, we all uh, need the freedom, we feed champagne. Although some people can be near the fire, as we all are close to the fire, 
but some people are not feeling the heat as uh, we are feeling the heat. So uh, at this point uh, in time, uh, we are seeing how Biafra land is going, uh, the kind of things we never experienced before. I mean, our own generation we never experienced before. And uh, we are watching it happening, hearing the sound of guns here and there. And uh, we are thinking that those things can be a way for us, which is not a way. Because sometimes uh, people can be looking uh, in a direction and they're thinking that the direction uh, is a nice one. And because someone has told them that this is a nice direction, and then they feel that we're doing something while we're not doing anything. So at this time, uh, I think uh, the Bear friends have to understand to retreat back and think what is our solution in all these things we are doing. Are we doing it right? Have we consulted people that can give us advice how to restore a nation? So at this time now, we see that uh, we are not talking only to restore a nation again, but we are talking uh, to restore uh, Mazen and the Khan, uh, which is not bad. And, uh, uh, I think uh, all Biafra's life matters. But any Biafra who committed any kind of criminality or whatsoever he committed, I think uh, that Biafra as well can face the judgment by the law. So, at this point in time, with the Biafra, we have to understand that the solution uh, to restore our own people is for we to act as a political people. We have to start our grand root politics. We have to understand to, to make a politics, it needs unity, it needs uh, need many ideas, people to bring their ideas and opinions, and people to bring uh, their own wisdom up to, uh, to the people they know, friends. So I think we really need to 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 think what is our problem and what should be the solution of our problem. At this point in time, we need to unite ourselves. We need to uh, forgive all everybody because I tell you the truth. And when we are talking about the the Jewish after the cause, uh, before they could be able to make the kind of progress they make. They call for reconciliation and uh, they make the summit which bring them together and they have to share up their objectives to restore their land. And uh, trust me, uh, when they understand the importance of unity, they achieve what they could not achieve for years. So at this time, I'm calling the Afras. I, OBDK, in Italy, I'm a member of the Afras National Alliance. And why I'm inside uh, this organization is is organization where I can ask a question, where I can even debate with the, the founder, where I can even tell him, I think uh, this is uh, we can make it this way, and uh, he have to think it and see if what is saying can be used. So uh, this is why I joined this movement, and uh, if I join this movement, I can tell people. A lot of progress has been done with this organization, Biafra National Alliance, uh, with the collaboration of uh, Biafra the federal government. There is a lot of things which have been done because the understanding the way is in a big, in a big work. So at this time, understand this big, this best way. Is to unite ourselves. That is why we keep on uh, Biafra and the federal government to call all the whole Biafra uh, together to have as a government everybody will come and lay his opinion. So, and uh, we are not asking anybody to close up his movement to come and join us for like uh, a parliament where everybody will have his representatives. So, uh, dear friends, our own problem is in our hand. It's not the hand of uh, the governors. It's not the hand of uh, those people who call elites. It's in our own hand. Are we ready? Are we ready to give the price, to pay the price of 
to forget our own proudness, to forget about our best thing we love, our best best thing we love. So if we could be able to pay all this price, I think it's when we are ready to restore Biafra. So I am calling everybody, if you are here in Europe, if you want to come and join to restore this Biafra together with Biafra National Alliance, you are always welcome. And uh, trust me, if you are close to us, uh, you will be uh, a part to restore Biafra. We cannot ask you to give us money and for us to go and restore in Biafra for you now. We ask you to bring your own opinion, to ask questions, anything that is not clear to you, and expect, expect your answer. So, likewise, some other pro Biafran uh, groups as well. If you don't like to join a Biafran, a Biafran, a Biafran National Alliance, you can join any pro Biafran movement. But I share this idea of unity because the idea of unity is the first principle of people uh, movement. So I thank you. Let me stop here and uh, I say God bless you. God bless the uh, Biafran National Alliance. God bless Biafran, the federal government. And uh, God bless other Biafrans all over the whole world and open our mind. Because before you want to seek your freedom for a nation, you must have your free, your mind free. You have to be a, a free thinker. You have to be in a, a, in a critical thinker. You don't have to believe always what you think that is the right way. But you have to be free to give your mind free to consider uh, other things as well. Thank you, listeners, and thank you, uh, Mr. George God bless you. Good night. Thank you, my brother, for your contribution this evening. And this is where I draw the curtain. Good night, and God be with all of us. Ndewonu. We see they suffer, so they start to kill in us since 1945. Till the two day, they are not satisfied. Yeah, hey. we're like a stranger in the land of scavengers. Then they kill us, then they eat us, so they make what of us, and I was in it us. Don't turn against us, they want to stop us, but they cannot stop us. Ooh, yeah. Biafra is unstoppable, love. unstoppable, love. unstoppable, love. because the fire is unquenchable, unquenchable, unquenchable. Freedom, oh. if you're broken on the Biafra, freedom, because oh. if you're broken on the Biafra, freedom. Because he cried on the too much, yo. Because he suffered on the too much, yo. In a nation, yo. Because he killing on the too much, yo. Because he suffered on the too much, yo. Because he cried on the too much, yo. In a nation, yo. 